Thank you everybody for sticking around. Our previous discussion, we had talked about the model town board and its features and some of the navigational questions. So if maybe you haven't checked that, you should go and check it right now. Uh, today we are going to learn about a new thing that is uh, road signs. Welcome guys to Africa Road Watch. That's where you'll find me. I'm your trainer Taylor. So today we are going to check on road signs and their classifications as you guys can see here so this is a simple drop chart of road signs we have three classes and uh, right there we have class a so here think about any circular shape sign that gives direct order and command to the road users they are the regulatory signs and that's why we call them regulatory signs okay any circular shape signs guys right like if you talk about you no know, entry any circular shape sign the second class here we have class b warning signs now these are going to be the uh, triangular shaped signs with apex facing upwards well any sign that gives a caution or gives information about danger on the road okay that warns you those are class b signs the triangular shaped signs with apex facing upwards right yeah and uh, we have the third class here these are now giving you information only there's no direct order no warning they are only giving you information we call them informative signs for example hospital available parking available so something like that only information signs right so this is a simple drop chart of our road signs and we have also the subdivisions down there right so re let's check class a here in class a you can see the circular shape signs right there um the first subdivision are the priority signs so Priority signs are the signs that we use to give priority at a junction. And the first one is that we call it give way or yield. Right, guys? All right. So the other one is called stop sign. I hope you know this sign is called stop sign or halt. Right? Now, we have the second subdivision of class A signs, of regulatory signs. And there we can see it. it's called mandatory signs. Sometimes they give you directions where you have to follow, like for example, compulsory post trade and so on, right? So there is compulsory direction to be followed, compulsory go left. This is compulsory go straight. All right, so this is compulsory turn right. All right, guys, this is going to be compulsory go straight or turn right. This is compulsory pass to the left. You don't change any direction, you just go straight, but you use the leftmost lane. Compulsory bicycle truck. Compulsory pedestrian truck, compulsory cattle truck, right? This is compulsory minimum speed limit. So here you should never go below 30 km per hour. Agreed? Yes. So this one is end of compulsory minimum speed limit because of the four lines that are striking diagonally. You can see them. So now you can go below 30 if you want. Okay? Yes. So here we have the third subdivision of our regulatory signs. These are now the red circular shaped signs and they prohibit us from some actions like making a turn, no left turn, no U-turn, no smoking, no hooting, all those signs, the red circular, the red circular shaped signs, right? So here we have no entry to anything or to anybody, no entry. This one is to mean that the road is closed, so it's called road closed, maybe temporarily, but the road is closed, right? Yes. There's going to be no entry for vehicles exiting two wheels or you can say no entry for saloon cars right yes any vehicle exiting two wheels no entry for motorcycles no entry for motorcycles this is no entry for bicycles yes no entry for bicycles this is going to be no entry for pedestrians okay guys no entry for animal pulled carts animal pulled carts no entry for hand carts no entry for hand carts. No entry for farm machineries. Don't say no entry for tractors. It's no entry for farm machineries. Yes. This is no entry for heavy commercial vehicles. No entry for all engine driven vehicles. All right. So here we have no entry for all engine driven vehicles and animal pulled carts. No entry for vehicles exceeding the width shown. No entry for vehicles exceeding the height shown, right? Yes. No entry for vehicles exceeding the weight shown. So if your vehicle is exceeding five tons, 
of weight do not enter. No entry for vehicles exceeding the weight shown per axle. An axle is a connector between two wheels. No entry for vehicles exceeding the length shown, as you can see, guys. Yes. This is distance to be kept between two moving vehicles on a highway. No left turn. No turning left. Right. No turning right. Or we can say no right turn. Okay, this is no U-turn or no making about turn. Okay, guys? No overtaking for saloon cars. So if you're riding a motorcycle, somehow you can overtake. No overtaking for heavy commercial vehicles. So if you're driving a saloon car, you can overtake. This is maximum speed limit. Right? No hooting. Stop at control post. Well, control posts are, uh, these are areas where you have to be checked. You have to be given a random check before you gain access. Like entrance to a police station or when you're crossing a border or a random police check, okay? This is stop children crossing. Priority for oncoming traffic. When you're making a right turn on a two-way traffic, you'll cross someone's lane, okay? You'll cross the oncoming traffic or, or the oncoming vehicle's lane. So here basically you have to wait for the oncoming vehicle to go fast then you can go after the traffic is clear. End of all prohibitions. End of maximum speed limit. No parking. So this is no parking, right? No parking, stopping or waiting. Right guys? This is a controlled parking zone. It's a no parking sign for heavy commercial vehicles. These are additional panels where you only make the shown turn, okay, without going straight. So the second uh, class of our road signs are called class B, warning signs. You can call them hazard informative signs or cautionary signs. They give you warning about the situation of the road ahead, okay. So this is going to be sharp bend to the left ahead, sharp bend to the right ahead. This is going to be successive bend to the left ahead so this is going to be successive bent to the right ahead so this is a steep descent ahead steep ascent ahead road narrows from both sides ahead as you can see this is road narrows from right ahead yes the other one here is road narrows from left ahead we have a river bank ahead yeah you can see that an even road surface ahead or ripple bumps ahead an even road surface ahead so this is the severe bump ahead severe bump ahead is where you have to slow down and some of them are uh, accompanied with a pedestrian crossing on them so this is going to be a severe bump ahead the uneven road surface comes before this severe bump ahead, okay? And now we have severe deep ahead or severe depression ahead. It's not a portal, it's just a constructed depression on the road, right? This is riverbed crossing ahead. Slippery road surface ahead. You should check on your tires if they are worn out, you should change them. Loose road surface ahead, loose road surface ahead, yes. Danger of falling rocks ahead, right? Pedestrian crossing ahead. We have another important sign, the so children crossing ahead. So here we have cyclist cycling ahead. This is a cattle crossing ahead, yes. We have wild animals crossing ahead, yes. Wild animal crossing ahead. Wild roadworks ahead, right? Now we have the traffic light signals ahead. Low flying aircraft crossing ahead. Low flying aircraft crossing ahead. There you go. This is a two-way traffic, so we'll call this one a uh, two-way traffic ahead. Okay, you keep left unless overtaking. This is hazard ahead, danger ahead, okay? Hazard ahead. 
junction ahead or a crossroad ahead it looks like that now this is a junction with stop and give away signs ahead or you can say junction with two minor roads from both sides ahead right this is going to be a junction with a road entering from right ahead a junction with acceleration lane from right ahead this is a roundabout junction ahead you can see that's a roundabout junction ahead we have a railway crossing with barrier ahead a railway crossing without barrier ahead so this is the informative science the class c science and class C signs we have three subdivisions as you can see the first one is the advanced direction signs that helps you to understand wherever you're going to when you're traveling so at least you can know the name of, of a place or name of the of the road that you're using right so you won't get lost actually with an advanced direction sign on a road so if it has a green color in it then it means that it's for a major road right advanced direction sign has green colors in it if it represents a major road and also it will have a letter a okay a yellow colored a right so a should represent uh, a major road and the remaining letters will re uh, represent minor roads so at least if you see a green color in an advanced direction sign it should be a representation of a major road which as we know major roads are connecting cities directly without branching like in kenya we have this mombasa road that can connect all the way from let's say nairobi or maybe Somo all the way to mombasa the same road then it's going to be a major road the remaining roads will be just feeder roads or minor roads okay guys and we have the last subdivision here we have the information size we are just giving information about what is immediately around you so these are the advanced direction signs you can see the letter A's. a104 is the same Mombasa road as you can see advanced direction sign right there this is an advanced direction sign for roundabout junction this is an advanced direction sign for slip road at a grade separated junction so this is a junction between non-trunk roads so non-trunk road is a road that only connects cities within the same country in other words it's a road that doesn't cross the border to the other country all right and a trunk road is a road that connects cities and towns in different countries and it must be having a green color or some green colors with some letter A's in them. Like this one's a junction between trunk road and non-trunk road, right? So you get the meaning. This is non-trunk road. We don't see a green color there. The top one is an advanced direction sign for trunk road. I'm sure it goes towards Ethiopia, if I'm not wrong, yeah. And uh, the other one down here for Malindi, this is going to be an advanced direction sign for non-trunk road. It's just within our country Kenya okay these are advanced direction sign for non trunk roads because they are black and white there's no green color in it uh, so a route confirmatory sign this one also is a route confirmatory sign for a major road a3 a route confirmatory sign if it's a black and white R for a minor road if it's going to be having some green colors it's going to be a route conformity sign for major roads so this is a miscellaneous directional sign because what is changing here is the figure the value 50 it reduces towards zero until you get to the represented city okay that is to airport to hospital to free car park then we have two toilets so this one shows that there is a parking available so parking available and the other one here this sign reminds you that after 500 meters you'll find a parking now this is a pedestrian crossing it's a pedestrian crossing hospital available it's a facility sign okay now we have an information sign one-way traffic both of them are one-way traffic so it means that when you're making a turn You must follow the direction shown right this is a uh, no way through the red bar on top there means the end of the road okay this one is cyclists only an area set aside for cyclists only uh, this is in for entrance and out for exit no entry 
Area where you can find taxis, and here we have the bus stop. So, a bus stop is different from a bus station, you should know that, right? So, this is a priority over oncoming traffic. Okay, this one is a place identification sign, it's for Mombasa, right? It can be for Nairobi or any other city or town that you know. Okay, it helps you know where you've arrived in. So what we have here is a chevron. This one identifies all heavy commercial vehicles. They are reflective and they are found at the rear side of the vehicle. All right, so what we have next is uh, a first aid station, okay? So next is a breakdown station or a towing station in case you want your vehicle to be towed, you can contact the breakdown crew, okay? This one is a telephone services for communication. Refueling station, you should never say petrol station or diesel station it's a refueling station well this one is a hotel or motel okay hotel or motel all right we have a restaurant right there you can see the spoon and a fork a restaurant is where you can find meal only there's a refreshment area refreshments for soft and hard drinks right this is going to be a picnic site because you can see a stool and some shades there or some tree to mean that there's a shade up there it's a picnic site now this is a public footpath is a pavement or is a path set aside for public use away from the roads we have a camping site where you can set up your tents for camping right like the scouting camp and any other camping right so what you have here is a caravan site where you can attach or detach your caravan. So a caravan is a vehicle without engine that is pulled by a motor vehicle. It's a caravan, okay? All right. Camping and caravan sites, very simple. So as you can see, there's a camping, there's a tent up there and there's a caravan down. There's a camping and caravan site. This one's a hostel, right? Our chart says that this one is called a hostel. All right, we have ferry services. So a ferry is just a floating bridge, or you can say a moving bridge. It's not a ship, right guys? Life saver, you should have a pair of these uh, things when you're driving. Just in case of any mechanical problem, you should have a life saver, a pair of life savers. Well, these are street names, street names. So whenever you're driving to this point, you'll expect only one truck one rail track okay yes but for this one it's a rail crossing with at least two trucks or we can say a rail crossing with multiple trucks like two rails crossing the road these are for this one is for sharp bend to the left or it's majorly used at a diversion where there's a sharp change of direction to the left okay yes this is going to be a sharp bend where the road is bending now to the right or at a diversion where it takes the right change of direction and here we have exit from the main road exit from the main road look at the patterns so and this is going to be a hazard demarcation it's placed at every beginning of a pavement where you can easily crash your vehicle on okay yes hazard demarcation wherever there's any pavement you'll find this so that you can see that that's a pavement you don't run over it